Scriabin. We're all playing a lot of Scriabin this year because it's 150th birthday. I have a little Scriabin festival on the college uh, that I'm not going to my students. And this is um, pretty much the first piano piece of Scriabin. It's right, it's Opus 2. Um, and it is uh, titled as an eight. Uh, so what is what is an eight? Study, right. So often when we see a piece called an etude, it's good to ask herself, what is this piece trying to do for me or for pianists in general technically? So what do you think? What do what do you think are the challenges of this piece? Yes, exactly. Bringing out the, the melody, as Matthew said, well, in both voices. There's several voices where there are melodic lines happening while keeping the other uh, other voices down, uh, the accompanying voices, but still being able to enjoy them, make them audible. I find that one real challenge of this piece is it's you know it's got this kind of soaring melody that arcs up and down, but it can be challenging to make that melody sound like it's really linear, like it's just going like that because of these big sort of plotting chords that are happening, you know, over and over. It almost sounds like if you're not voicing the melody enough, it could be like an accompaniment for something else, or like a melody that we're not hearing yet. So I find that to be a good challenge here, too. Um, so um, I think you bring out the melody beautifully. So bravo for that. Um, I think there are some things you can do to make the, the, the identity of the melody and the phrases uh, a little bit more effective, um, and um, as well as with some of the other voices. I think um, one thing is to uh, observe the dynamics a little bit more um, specifically here, and we'll talk about that. Um, but also, I think you could get a little bit more speed on it um, overall. It's marked Andante, which means what? Like a walking pace, right? Andante, andiamo, literally means walking or going. Andiamo means let's go, andante. So when we see that marking, it means that we need to have some momentum. It doesn't mean fast, but it doesn't mean slow. It doesn't mean that it's sort of in place. It means that it is going somewhere. We need to feel a little sense that it's that it's moving, uh, and I think if you play it a little bit faster, and I think it's the case actually with just in general with music, we play in the margin in the, in the uh, spectrum of possible tempo. If we play something a little bit faster, we can do more rubato. We can slow it down in more places where it doesn't feel like maybe the you know the melody might die a little. Bit. So, you know, I would say something like...
there and really make it feel like we've landed uh, at that point in contrast with the beginning when it's uh, when it's landed. Um, I'm just going to say one more thing and then we're going to wrap up. Uh, one of my favorite parts of this room Thank you so much.